So different distros, of course, have some spin spins that make it a lot easier to use or different to use, and they add additional functionality. Mint for Ubuntu. I suppose you could say, and a couple of others that exist out there. I can't remember all of them right now from the top of my head. But you'll quite often find that, and quite often you'll find there's a lot of them for Debian, Ubuntu, but not many for Fedora based. And came across Nabara. So Nabara is to Fedora what Linux Mint is to Ubuntu. And what I mean by that is, uh, it's an uh, addition of Fedora. That it's it's a spin. Now it's it's an unofficial spin, so it's got nothing to do with organization at all. Um, and is created by uh, an individual um, that is very popular in when it comes to the gaming scene patches, especially wine. Uh Drawers Eggroll, I believe does or used to work for Red Hat and of course in their own time does their own versions of Proton, QT, and of Wine, and all these packages. And of course, they themselves have also got their rendition of uh, Fedora. When they've taken Fedora, they've added additional patches to it. And at the same time, of course, additional pieces of software makes it a little bit easier to use. And this is the website. And I myself really can vouch for this because on my specific machines hardware at the moment i've been having issues with uh kernel crashing with the ryzen 7 and the radeon chips uh, with the specific kernels and this additional patches that have to be done and i've been having a couple of issues also with uh, audio and the nabara has actually with its patches I have actually have no issues, so I can use my machine with a newer kernel, no problem, and OBS with the audio working a lot better than it has been. So, personally, I'm actually really quite uh, in love with uh, Nobara, as I think it makes uh, Fedora usable, out the box at least. So, what I'm going to do is uh, take you through it. Uh, important to know there are a couple of different versions uh, to download. Uh, so on my own workstation, I'm running the KDE uh, version, but they have the official, which is, I believe, no look known with uh, additional extensions, and then there's more vanilla known, and of course, full Steam Deck as well. And there's Nabara 38 based on Fedora 38, and 37 based on uh, Fedora 37, and of course, uh, 38 is the current edition. So that's uh, new virtual machine, local media, or browse to the ice images uh, within the bar of 38. I'll just search here for Fedora. Fedora Linux 38. And give this about over 8 gigs of memory. Somewhere around there. Uh, give it 8 CPU cores. Let's give this uh, 8 gig hard drive. Let's forward this, let's just call this bar uh, and finish it up and start it up the way up. Okay, normal, uh, store the screen or boot screen just like Dora and Red Hat and CentOS uh, display there. So let us let this thing start up. Truly, I found it to be pretty quick. Uh, what I like about when I run it on my own system as well is really easy to get all the additional codecs and everything set up, which I'll show you. Uh, so this is bar out the box. Um, and let's do the quick install. So of course, Kanamari's installer. We're going to hit next. Uh, America Ale, that's fine. Generic keyboard. I'm going to erase the disk. I'm going to do no swap this time. Uh, of course, it uses PHRVS default. Let's go next. And then... 
really strong password. Uh, we don't want to log in automatically. We will use the same password as root and we'll hit install. And of course, one of the interesting things uh, we'll note is by using the Calamari's uh, installer, it uh, doesn't use the traditional uh, installer that uh, Fedora uses or Anaconda. I thought it was very, very interesting. Okay, so let's log in. First, uh, this tool was pretty quick. Uh, first, of course, we get uh, created by do we want to perform a system update? First thing I'm going to do is let's fix resolutions and let's go to settings and appearance, low, display. And let's just get this right quickly. 1920 by 1080. Okay, and you should be able to see my screen better. Okay, so what it does is it talks you through these steps. So the first is, do you want to form updates? So let's say yes. Type your credentials. Authenticate. And what it will do is, the first thing it's going to do is, it's going to check uh, for updates and literally apply them. Um, what it does that in the background, it will... The next step afterwards, what it will do, it actually gives you the option to install some video encodics uh, packages. So you can honestly play um, and use OBS and Blender a lot easier out of the box. Uh, because Fedora only uses free software, uh, this type of stuff is not available out of the box in Fedora. So you usually, after you set up Fedora, have to then do this separately. And it's pretty nice that uh, this does it for you out of the box and here of course it's just busy getting one of its updates so I'll never do download its updates uh, at the moment uh, but earlier on you would have seen that it uses uh, its uh, repos as well as Fedora's 38 repos and uses RPM Fusion free and non-free repos as well RPM Fusion you often use that to get additional software Fedora but while that does that in the background, um, you get this welcome screen, which has got first steps. So of course, update your system. It's still patented. We need a codex. It's still proprietary in video drivers. It's still web apps. Uh, if you want to turn a website into a native desktop application. And this uses... Uh, this web apps is actually... Uh, what uh, the next mint actually uses this uh, application thing. So happy, we nice to see that it's, it's over here on the side. Uh, after you went through the, this list of you need to recommend it editions. So if you need to install Blender, K Kaden Live, OBS Studio, which has been more patched by uh, Discord as well. Uh, and then of course optional steps, so proprietary MD drivers, uh, additional controller drivers for the Xbox One and Series. Proton GE makes sense. Uh, Glorious Aircraft's Proton and DaVinci Resolve fix ups. So the fix ups basically allowing the application to run. Uh, look and feel so you can uh, choose to unlock a manager, get new themes, uh, even choosing a layout. So you can have the traditional GNOME, uh, even the GNOME 2 layout. So if I just hit GNOME 2, automatically uh, changes the layout of it. Uh, 11 course like Windows 11 or something that's a little bit more traditional and so really great to see those uh, this is of course not in the KDE version and uh, this is specifically done uh, in the known version with uh, some extensions uh, theme your desktop uh, I've made enough tweaks here and uh, if you want to give new themes and I consider to launch. So another thing that the system uses is flat packs as well. You can still install RPM packages, but what is doing the updates? It asks you if you uh, want to update your flat pack, so you can just say yes, uh, authenticate again, and just go back to the terminal while it's busy checking uh, in the background. Can now it's say we should update a reboot now. I'm going to say no, but you should. Uh, if one feel icons and themes, and you can launch. 
it uh, will take you to Pling Duct uh, Claw. Okay, troubleshooting issues. Take updating the system for this documentation page. Joining um, the community, Discord, subreddit. And you can contribute to to this. Um, and of course, uh, the different credits. Um, really, really nice. Uh, basic mount, of course, as you can see. Uh, GNOME with extensions added. Uh, so I'm just going to close the screen over here. No plug settings. So as you see here, out of the box, uh, we are using... And then next kernel 6.312. We are on user Wayland. Ingesting system version start available. So yeah, we can just uh, carry on. Uh, they also test an Obara package manager as well, which uh, basically uses Yamix or the Yamix tender. And you can see here it's just busy downloading. Uh, Repository information. But again, so you can update this and you can search. And you can still packages or flat packs from here. The same term as well, it also has a uh, non GNOME software. And if you check the software repos uh, on the list, you'll actually see here yeah, flat packs enabled and the rest of the packages and that we mentioned earlier of all repos out of the box. So let's say, for example, you were to choose Gary. Uh, it will give you the option. You want the normal package, the RPM from the bar and Linux, or do you want uh, lean with that back addition? So pretty cool. And here, of course, with this, your packages that you can search them up. Add, uh, you can update the system. You can also, of course, do your installed updates. Or flat packs queue. Uh, Etc. So, and again, choosing which uh, repos you want to use. So you can just close that. So, nice thing is out the box, nicely done. I really like the choice of extensions as well. Arc menu, of course, a dash to dock. And out of the box, since this is for streaming and gaming, you have got here and uh, other. Right, you've got Lutris, we Windows games, we've got Steam, and I've got Proton QT. Um, you also have, for example, VLC pre installed. On this one, you actually have to install VLC. VLC is, I think, out of the box in the KDE version, I could be wrong. And, and yeah, that is essentially, essentially this. Um, you know, the bar Linux is Fedora that's customized as you can see some footy offering too. So anything that you can do and know on Fedora, you can do it on here. So if your software supported on Fedora 38, it's gonna run in the bar 38. Uh, you know, a lot of people often uh, do get concerned about these things. I like this. Uh, they've because of the patches, uh, I can use it and not have issues with it, and I can use my machine correctly. Grant, it's roughly these patches I could go into myself manually, uh, but this is just easy and out of the box, um, which I think is absolutely really, really, really great. Um, so, I think this is absolutely great. So, uh, great work that's done, and yeah, like. Almost wish for Toro was like this out of the box. And system wise usage out the box really doesn't use too much uh, storage. Basically, using a combo of just uh, over 16 gigs and automatically creates a different mountains for home and root and I know memory usage is locked at 3 gigs and CPU is just relatively low. I do find it's a little bit uh, memory usage hungry, um, not going to lie. Um, but again, I mean, these days, on most machines here, have got between 8 and 16 gigs of memory, relatively speaking. And of course, anything else out the box, the normal type of stuff, um, 
the remote connections if you need to connect to a remote machine via RDP, BNC, or built in. So basically, all the basic stuff you need to to get yourself uh, going and running. But yeah, if you view this or if you have any comments, it would be great to hear from you. For now, I'm going to say thank you for watching and bye for now.